Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Today we're going to be doing a book haul because you know I've been gone for a while and I, even though I've been gone from here, I have not stopped buying books, obviously, because why not? But um, yeah, so I bought some books and I'm going to share those books with you right now and kind of explain a little bit why I have been gone for almost two months there's just been a lot of things happening but before we get into that please make sure you hit that subscribe button down below let me know what you bought recently when it comes to books bookish things whatever maybe clothes because I've been buying a lot of those too but just let me know down below and yeah so let's just get into it so I'm going to talk about books first well some books and then I'll just stop and talk because I'm still a little bit emotional about the changes that have been going on so the books are going to distract me while I'm going over it so let's just talk about a few first so the one of the first books that I bought is we have always been here by Lena Nugent I believe that's how you say it this is a science fiction about an alien planet and people are like people have had to move from earth to other planets around the world or around the universe not world but around the universe and they're having to try to habitat or make other planets their home and there is a ship of scientists and psychologists and androids and ro like you know you know science fiction -y things and I am in the middle of reading this right now and it's supposed to be a thriller slash horror so it hasn't gotten to the thriller slash horror part yet but it's coming I can feel it Next book I picked up is a YA, and this is All of Our Hidden Gifts by Caroline O'Donohue, I, I believe. And the girl in the in Barnes and Noble sold it to me because she said if I like Sabrina the Teenage Witch, like the new the new series that just came out, or you know the old series, whatever, that I would end up liking this book. So picked it up and the cover is absolutely gorgeous look at that it was actually like a cover pickup for me and then the girl was like oh yeah that's really good if you like this then you'll like it I'm like okay sold then I bought Disobedience by Naomi Alderman and all I know is this is a sapphic romance about two women who have had a previous relationship and they're coming back after one of their like a parent dies or a sibling dies somebody dies and they come back together and they start their romance over again and I know that there is a movie that's based on this so you might see this one in the future like with a future video you might because I'm doing this little series now but I'm not going to tell you what it is because I don't think that any of the other videos have come out yet but just know that you'll probably see this and this book again is beautiful when I saw this version on thrift books I was like getting it because the other versions are like the actual movie you know the movie cover or the movie posters and whatever next book that I have is Hyde and this is by Kirsten White I've already read this book I'm not going to talk about it yet because you're going to see a review for it later on this is a it's an adult it kind of reads like a YA though well not like hmm, I would say new adult kind of reads like that but it is a horror book about these 14 people who go to this amusement park and they have to hide to survive and there's some weird things going on and it was okay but yeah so got this then I have Cackle by Rachel Harrison and this is also a horror book it's about witches I believe I'm assuming it's supposed to be super funny it's yep witches and all that kind of stuff and yeah this is coming up in a video too <laughs> a lot of these books are coming up in videos y'all because I'm gonna be rolling with it so we've talked about five books so far so let's talk about some life things that have been going on now if you've been watching my channel for a while you know that I am a or I still say I am you know that I was a teacher I didn't really talk about like you know didn't really get into 
teaching very deeply on here because this isn't about teaching this is about books like this channel but I was a teacher and I decided to transition into a new job so it I'm not gonna tell you what my new job is because whatever but just know that it's I didn't fully get away from education like I'm not working for edu I'm not working in the education system I am still making educational things but I'm not a teacher anymore and it was a very hard decision that I'm still kind of tore up about so yeah um, it was a very hard decision but it was something that I needed to do for myself my mental health my physical health my family life I was bringing home a lot of things and it wasn't fair to Charles or my husband so I just decided that I needed a change and I've I've needed a change for a really long time but this year just put the nail in that coffin you know and I decided to make a life change and that's one of the reasons why you haven't seen me it has been a long it's, it's been a long process and I just needed some time to myself so getting back to the books now the next one I have right here this is a heavy book this is the unhoneymooners this is a by Christina Lauren. It is a romance. I believe it is supposed to be... Is it... A second chance? I know that they're stuck on a... Like, they're stuck on an island together. Maybe... No, this is Enemies to Lovers, I believe. Emily's Enemies to Lovers. I know that they don't like each other, but they're on... Uh, they're on somebody else's honeymoon. Something like that. Um, but yeah, I just know that everyone loves this and I've heard that it's super funny and I've heard that it's a really good romance and you know I'm all about the romance and it's yellow so there's that. The next book I have is Weather Girl and this is by Rachel Lynn Solomon. She was the previous right or she her other book is X Talk and I really liked that book last year so I decided to pick this up and I believe that this is also an enemies to lovers. It's also an office romance and I really like office romances so pick that up as well. Then I picked this up too, Love at First Spite. I'm pretty sure this is the enemies to lovers as well. And it's saying that falling in love is the ultimate payback. So maybe it's like a revenge romance story, whatever. I don't really know. I just thought this was a cute cover. And you know that I love cover buying, so I wanted to pick this up as well. Then I have some weird books going on. And you'll see this one in an upcoming video. But I picked up the sequel, so you, you you probably know that this is like, oops, you probably know that I like this book since I picked up the sequel. So this is called Strange Love, and the sequel to this is Love Code. So this is, this book right here is following Xander and Beryl. And Beryl is from Earth, and Xander, is his name Xander? Yeah. Siler, sorry. Siler. Siler is from a planet that I can't remember the name of and he is obviously an alien she is human and he kidnaps her and takes him or takes her back to his home planet and Beryl also brings her dog snaps Zyler gives snaps the ability to talk so he is actually a character in this and Beryl and him have really good have a really good bond you know and Zyler and her just kind of come together they are in unfortunate circumstances obviously since she was taken from her home planet but she just kind of like jumps in and she does what she does and it is it's really funny I laughed a lot there's some miscommunication in here but it's not because like the miscommunication doesn't make them like fight or anything like that it's just they don't speak the same language so they're having to try to navigate and communicate that way and it's really funny and then the second book love code is about Zyler's artificial intelligence there you go ai he is supposed to be falling in love with something or not something with a, a chick quailo quailu something like that and then there's also a little weird thing on the back too there's snaps he's really cute but anyways this this is a science fiction romance series all about it it's really really good it's weird but it's super good then I have Mirrorland by Carolyn Johnstone 
and I know that this is a thriller um, and I also think that it's about twins right Maryland is a thrilling psychological suspense yeah about twin sisters the man they both love and the house that's always haunted them and the childhood stories they can't leave behind so it evil sisters evil twin sisters maybe I just know that this was on my 2020 most anticipated list and I saw it and I picked it up and then I have the layover by Lacey Walden and again I don't really know what this is I just know that it's supposed to be a cute rom-com and around this time of year I read a lot of rom-coms and it's really pretty obviously a lot of these books were cut cover bias so yeah um it says paradise isn't big enough for the both of them so uh, i oh oh here we go an unexpected layover with her nemesis turns a flight attendant's life upside down in this witty breezy romantic comedy about life so it's an enemies to lovers enemies to lovers do you expect any less all right we have about 10 more books to talk about the next book i have is the deep and this is by Alma Katsu. Yeah, Katsu. And this is supposed to be a thriller about the Titanic. So it's a historical thriller. And I'm pretty excited about it. I don't know. Seems cool. Then I have... Are these the same author? No. I bought the second book in this series. Because I read the first one and I really liked it. Then I picked a third one not realizing, realizing that it was the third one. But this is the one about... What's his name? Brendan. This is the one about Brendan and his love. And then I picked up Starcrossed by Minnie Dark. And this is about people falling in love. And they like astrology. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, it's something about the horoscope, astrology, yep. So it's about a people falling in love due to astrology. And y'all know that I love astrology. Then I have Sleepless by Romy Hosman. And I know that this is about a person as a, who was, when they were a kid, they did something really, really bad. And that has followed them all of their life. And something now that they're grown has come back and bad things are happening. That's pretty much all I know. And they are like the person that did the really bad thing. There was a friend involved too. And now they're coming back together as adults. And bad, yep, bad things are going to happen. So you know that that's what I'm all about. Then I picked up Hotels and... This is about a young escort named Annabelle who is in Paris and she has now moved on to marrying a person who has a lot of money. I haven't heard very good things about this book because after I bought it, I went on to Goodreads and added it to my, you know, must read pile and it didn't, I think it's like a 2.5 so I might make a series about reading my, like, doing a video about reading some of my books that I have that are reviewed very low. So this this might go on that list. Then Charles picked this out for me the other day. It's Twice Shy by Sarah Hogle. And he was just going up and down the, the rows at Second and Charles. And he said, here, Mama, take this one. So I can't say no to him, but it sounds really cute, though. Um, it says love speaks louder than words, and I believe that they are both writers. Uh, Maybell is considered a hopeless romantic, and Wesley has been trying to avoid her. Then I picked up Regretting You by Colleen Hoover. I've heard many good things about this book. Everyone who I know that reads romance loves this. People that I know that don't like romance have loved this, so obviously I think that I'm going to like it too. Then I picked up One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. 
and I have not read one of their novels before. I do have Red, right, and Red, White, and Royal Blue on my shelf. Just haven't read it, but I've heard that people really like this book as well. Then I have If the Shoe Fits by Julie Murphy, and I've heard really good things about this. This is supposed to have, she's plus size, and she falls in love, and it's supposed to be kind of like a Cinderella retelling, so yay. Then I picked up Dead Silence by S.A. Barnes, and I picked this up because I was watching one of Books on La La, or I was watching a video, one of Kayla's videos, and she was reading this book, and it, sound, it just re sounds really cool, and I know that it's about people on a ship, and it's supposed to be horror, so science fiction horror. Then I picked up Manhunt by Gretchen Feckler Martin and I know that this is about two people called Beth and Fran and in this story they are hunting feral men I believe and they're harvesting those men's organs because there's some kind of disease that's going around and it only affects the men so there's that and then lastly I have The Martian by Andy Ware and I just picked this up because I, I love the book or the movie and I, I kind of I think I might have given it away on why I wanted to read this book <laughs> but anyways I've just heard nothing but great things about this book everyone loves this book and I wanted to get on that bandwagon too so boom pick that up and y'all that completes this video those are all the books that I have picked up so far not so far but since you've last seen me and yeah i'm super excited to get into these books you will see most of these books in upcoming videos and hopefully i'll get to reading them and not just keep buying books and not read them because <laughs> i do that a lot but yeah so i hope that you enjoy this video make sure you hit the subscribe button down below like this video give it a thumbs up that's the same thing as like but anyways and let me know what you've been doing since I am back. I hope that you have a great day. Happy Father's Day. Because today is the Friday before Father's Day. And happy Juneteenth. All the good things. Again, hope you have a great day. Great week. Great weekend. Bye.